Welcome to my YouTube page. Uh, today we're going to uh, do another Carbide Create Pro example and we'll be modeling a turtle shell. So we're just going to, we'll show the whole thing, but we're just going to talk about how to build and model the back. So I was uh, reading through the C3 forum site and uh, there was someone asking about how to uh, make the turtle shell in the CNC. So I had seen on Etsy um, for sale, and they sell the plans there, um, a, a turtle jewelry box kind of thing. And so I decided to make something similar. So you can see it's got a, 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 a you know, rounded legs and a tummy, and, and there's the top, and it, uh, it is a box. So you can see all the little nodules. So I'm going to be showing how to how to make this today, and uh, but mainly I'm going to be focusing on the uh, shell back. This is the turtle that I made. Um, this is the entire drawing. It actually has the the um, model shades in it, the gray tone shades. Uh, so first thing I did is start to break it apart. These are the dots on the bumps on the back of the turtle. Uh, these are the outlines of the body and the shell. So uh, the shell will go all the way out to the edge here and then we'll come inside and then this will be an inside lip but we'll start with the center one the center outline and uh so i just got some circles and uh and you know changed them in in size and uh, they don't all have to be the same size they don't have to be a symmetrical turtle it's up to you um for me it was just easier just to go ahead and start copying copying them and i used the uh bigger ones for the for the, uh, these arcs and the smaller ones for the other arcs. And so you just add them up and you go around the circle till you get what you like. So I made a, I made a circle roughly that I wanted to follow. And uh, you, uh, I made them in pairs so that I could move them together and then this would all stay t together. Um, and then you just use your angle tool over here to, to turn them. And if you want to resize them a little bit just to throw things up, you can. Uh, you'll have to do something like that uh, when you get to the very end because you'll want them to match. And so you'll want to go play with the sizes a little bit to get it to match all the way around the circle and come back together where you want it. Um, so when you get these laid on here, um, uh, you're going to come back eventually and you'll highlight them all. And then you'll come over to this vector trim tool here and you can see where it'll let you cut. So, so like this piece, can, I don't want to cut this out one right now, so we can cut that away, we can cut that away, cut that away. Um, here's another one, another one, another one. We get in here and I can cut, I can cut this and cut, uh, you get to pick which one you want to cut, that one. And there's a couple over here. Now, it looks like there's something funky going on here. So this is actually an overlap of the two vectors. We'll have to, actually it's a, it's a vector on its own. So if we uh, say OK, then we grab that if we can. And keep zooming in until we can get to it alone. Now for some reason it's grouping them together. So we'll have to go figure that out, um, and we'll but we can eventually we'll we can. Uh, that's why. So I uncoupled them. I uncoupled them over here. And I see they were coupled. They were coupled by this function. So they were coming up together as one piece. But I know they're not because they're not touching. So I come over here and I grab it and then I can just delete that piece. So you go around your, your circle like that and that's how you get your shape. And then you come over here and you highlight again. And it trim now you notice it's not coming up over here so you can see there's a little gap so we'll have to cancel off it and we'll have to grab that one and pull it over to where it connects make sure the other side connects it does highlight them both again and the trim tool and still not there so we're gonna have to slide over a little more but what you do is you work your way around the circle like that and then you're going to get to a point where you have to come back and put these things back together. So we'll close that out. And then we'll come in here and 
the purple means that it's not joined. So this purple is not joined to this purple. And we already noticed that we had a problem down there at a really low level, but we'll see if it'll connect. And it doesn't. It doesn't join. Oh, there it did. There it went right there. Well, it joined over here. But that's all right. We can cut that back out later the same way we cut everything else out. So I've got a, I've got a closed vector here, and that's how we want to end up with a closed vector. Um, <clears throat> but we work our way around the circle like that, and you'll end up with um, this circle right here. Turtley circle. I like to keep a lot of board. So then you have to decide how, how, how big a lip you want inside and out. Come over here to the offset tool. And you'll say, okay, well, is a quarter inch all right inside? There you go. And uh, we'll go back and we want one on the outside. So we'll go back to that and we'll change it to the outside. So now we basically have the pieces for our turtle. We have the outside edge and then we have the inside lip. Um, so we're going to go work on the outside. So right now we don't need this inside one. So we could just take it and set it over here on the side. And so we're going to start making circles and filling up the center. And you know, circle here, circle there, anywhere you want them. I kind of went bigger in the center, smaller towards the outside. Why? Because I had little holes out here I had to fill up. But you can get in here and you can um, you can drag them you know, to make them a little better. You can uh, make them a little not round. Another thing you can do is you can go in and go into the node function on the right over left over here, and you can add a node here by right right mouse clicking on it, you right mouse click and it says insert node. And then you can just grab it and pull it a little bit if you want. So it's not quite round in that, that, you know, that means you can, you can tuck these in here a little better if you want or not. So that's how you make the, the drawing for the shell. And so then I think I'll, uh, I'll get into how do you, how you make the, uh, um, the models. So we finished our design, so now we're going to move into the modeling area. All right, so first thing you do is figure out what you want to do here. So we want to build a flat surface, and so we highlighted the outside area. We come over, uh, we do a flat. We're going to call it 0.15 in thickness. We're going to call, we're going to name it flat. 0.15 add and we add it and there it is and you can see it's got a little bit of thickness to it okay now that we've got our, our base layer there we're going to come in and we're going to add a dome to the rest of the turtle so it has a kind of a humpback so we'll highlight this second circle in We'll come over to add shape. We're gonna come in, we're gonna add a round shape because we want a dome. We're gonna do scale limit. So the scale limit will allow it to make a dome, but it won't go any higher than the wood. So it'll be even all the way across. We're gonna put 0.4 in for height and we're gonna label it as a hump. And it's scale height and it's 0.4 and it's an add. So we'll put all that in and see what we end up with. Our turtle back and he's got a nice hump to it. So that sat on top of this layer and the next layer will sit on top of this and follow the contour of that layer as well. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna work on our last um, component of our model and that is to model all of the uh, all of the dots on the back uh, bumps. So I grouped them together in the design so they would act as one. And so whatever we do to one of them, we're going to do to all of them. So we highlight those, we come over to add shape and we go into round 45 degree. We're gonna do scale height on this. We're gonna do 0.2 and we're going to label it as in 
bumps and scale height at 0.2 and add. So there we go. We've got the bumps. Everything looks just like we want it. I'm quite happy with that. So we're going to close that one out. And when we do, we can't make changes to it, remember? So uh, if we have to make changes, we may have to rebuild it. So we're going to show one more thing here. Um, you know, we've got our full model done, but we are uh, um, able to still do some limited changes. So we're going to go into bumps. And these are the limited changes that you can make. One of them is merge type. So we're going to do a subtract just to see what it looks like. 3D model. You can see that it has uh, divots now as opposed to bumps. Uh, kind of looks cool. Uh, it's just something to remember that you can do and how it functions. So now we're going to go back and uh, put it back to add and we'll call it applied and done. to the um, tool path. So uh, this is the uh, um, the turtle back shell. I wanted to show how, how I do the, the tool paths. So I clicked on the outer perimeter. You come up to rough. Um, so you can go in here and you can change your tool. Um, you know, the finer the tool you use, the finer your cut. Um, the more overlap you use, the better. Uh, somewhere around 10-15% works good um, but for the rough cut that doesn't really matter um, so this is the rough cut and uh, I don't know feeds and speeds because I don't know what kind of wood you're using so so this is our rough cut and I'll get rid of all this so that you can see it's definitely uh, pretty rough so we'll go back and we'll go to our finish pass and use a some kind of ball nose, quarter inch ball nose might work. And check your feeds and speeds and come back and hit that. And we'll show it. And so here you are. So you've got your bumps, you've got a nice little dome to the back of your turtle. Uh, again, you can play with those heights if you want to, to kind of max them out. It looks like we we got pretty close. We got pretty close on our max out there for the top. It'll show up red here when it when it peaks out, and you just back it down. Uh, you got one other tool path you want to do, and that is to go do a, a contour and cut around the edge. Um, leave you some tabs in here somewhere to to make sure it doesn't break loose and destroy all the work you've done so far. Um, but that's how you make the uh, the back of the uh, the the, the uh, turtle and. Uh, the rest of it, uh, I'll, I'll leave for you to figure out. Or if I get ambitious, maybe I'll go make a, uh, a video on that too as well.